we don't feel ourselves like a tourist, uh, we feel ourselves like locals because uh, the, at the first day we met a lot of uh, locals, guys uh, who help us and uh, we're traveling with him. Everyone uh, asking us about Russian Ukraine situation, everyone, but I, I don't feel uh, any angriness or something, everyone is very nice with us and uh, I I never feel no no tension uh, for example uh, yesterday uh, we spend our times in uh, one family Greek family true Greek family everyone uh, was very nice with us uh, we making uh, some traditional kind of uh, planting I don't know how to explain and uh, making some uh, some kind of balls and it, it, it was funny and it was very, very nice. We were singing and we were laughing and uh, drinking wine and uh, and sometimes talking about Russia and Ukraine, but it's uh, like, we don't understand what's happening. We don't understand it too. What's going on? I think that uh, we have a really trouble with uh, Ukraine and uh, it's not, um, it, it's not just one, one day. It's a, it's a very long story, very long. Uh, ancient, I guess, story. And uh, that happened with my government right now. It's a difficult situation, but I don't feel like uh, I never come back in uh, Europe or different countries just because uh, we have this problem. No, no, it's impossible now. It's, it's really impossible. Because if uh, our government decide uh, to close uh, the corner and Okay, uh, people just start to fight, and, uh, and it, it's it's impossible because Russia is a very big country, but a lot of uh, people live in a big city like Moscow and Saint Petersburg, and it's very European uh, city, and no one uh, wants to back in USSR again. Of course, no. I think it it will be the last drop, like uh, the drop of uh, of patience, you know. If uh, it happens, it, it, it will be a last drop.